What's up, you guys? What's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, y'all. What's been up? Y'all probably like, what is she doing too much? She doing the most. She tired. She all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of the above. I'm tired. I'm doing the most. I'm making soap. Y'all see me making soap, you know, and I find it to be so relaxing. So I'm going to talk like really briefly. As you probably just saw or you saw me upload, if you haven't, please go take a look at this video right here. It's just showing me making a five pound batch of cold processed soap. You probably like, why in the world is she making soap? Like, I thought she was a hairstylist. I thought she was a retired hairstylist. Why is she making soap? So you guys, the whole thing about soap, I've never in my life thought about doing soap, making soap, doing nothing with soap other than taking baths and showers, which I predominantly take showers. But anyway, washing my hands, you know, you know the normal, regular stuff, wash our face that we do with soap, right? Never thought about making soap, you know, didn't even know what that costs to make soap, you know, how much money you gotta spend trying to make some soap and, you know, is it hard to sell homemade soap? had no kind of idea none of this but if you guys have been watching my channel even for a minute you probably know i'm a woman of faith and so you know usually mainly in my life if i hear something i feel like it's coming from god i kind of move quick because i mean i know that the favor and the anointing of god and his empowerment will be there when he tells you to do it you just do it so i kind of started doing it because I was helping someone with vendor events and then I, it just came in my spirit when I was sitting there like how can I help her with her business at the same time coming up with my own business because I'm an entrepreneur it's in my spirit it's in my soul it's a part of me there's no way you're gonna own any kind of business and be able to totally change your mindset we all know that it takes 21 days to form a habit so I, I've been in business ownership since 2006. That's number one. Here we are right now in 24. It's about to be 25. So there's no way that you're going to take anyone who used to be in business ownership and then just think they just not going to think. Their mindset going to change and they're not going to be thinking of ways to improve things, ways to help somebody else, ways to help somebody else with their business, you know, it's going to be always there because God gave you that ability, that calling, that mantle, that anointing, that empowerment to become a business owner. It's not easy. It's not easy to be a business owner. That's number one. So I'm always thinking away. My husband, he's always trying to motivate me. He would love for me to go back and, and own some type of business. So, so my willingness to try to help someone else you know, and, and the fact that God is always speaking to me about business, my whole motive was to try to help somebody else. I'm like, okay, I can help this person. I can, you know, give them business tips. I can make soap for them because it'll fit in with what their business is already. I can make the soap for free for them um, and give them soaps. And at the same time, I can be carrying out what I feel like God was telling me to do at the same time. So I feel like, you know, we always can help one another or help other people, you know, it's to each his own. But again, I try to be obedient whenever I hear from God. So the whole thing about the soap, then when I started making the soap, you guys, I was rolling with the soap. I was making so much soap, just a lot, a lot, a lot of soap. Because again, whenever I feel like God is telling me to do something and it drops in my spirit, and I know that it's God because it's Whenever God is telling you to do something, it's always going to be helping somebody. It's always going to be about sowing a seed. So, and at the same time, being a blessing to yourself or whatever you've been seeking God to tell you to do. Not saying that I wouldn't ever have any other type of business, but I'm saying, you know, for now, it's soaps and I'm loving it. It's, and then, you know, I find it to be very relaxing. Mm -hmm. It's been relaxing to me. And it's been a blessing, so it's been a blessing. It's been very relaxing. You guys, how would you think making soap would be relaxing? I don't know. Like I said, I've never made soap before to now, but I find it to be very relaxing. So that's been a blessing as well. So let me show you some of my soaps, some of the soaps I made. So one thing about soap, you guys, 
once you make the soap, it has to cure. So I'm gonna have a website soon. I've already been working on a website you can sell. I mean, you can buy my soaps. I'll have it all on my social media everywhere, as well as here on YouTube, I will have it here. I will have the link in the description box and wherever else I can put it on YouTube. And if you'd like to buy any of my soap, or if you want me to make specific soap for you, I can do that as well. It's organic, it's, it's, it's made from scratch. All of that made in my home. So let me show you some of my soap bars. So this soap bar here, it smells so yummy. You know, it has some tea tree and some lemongrass in it. And I call like this, like a, to me it's like a skinny mini bar. And once you make soap, you have to, it has to cure. So, you know, curing just means, you know, cause you have to add water when you're making soaps. And so for the water, for the soap to cure, it takes about a month, you guys, like a good month for the soap bar to cure where all of the water has kind of evaporated out of the soap and the soap bar is hard. If the soap bar is not fully cured, then it will dissolve quicker when you use it in the shower, in the bath. This is another bar that I made here and it's a pretty color, it's kind of purplish and it smells yummy. This soap, I just made this one two days ago. It's like camouflage. It has like a camouflage, just a regular one inch bar, soap bar. And then I have, I made another version. I should put on two gloves. This is a second version of the camouflage bar and I'm gonna get another, a second glove. So this is another version of the camo bar, the same bar, but different. It's tall and skinny. And if I want to get me another glove, because I don't want to touch the soap, because this is the soap that I'm going to sell. So um, then another bar is this one here. This is another bar. It's curing as well. So And they smell delicious. This has got orange, purple, natural color. This bar is one of my shorter bars. And my bars are going to be different prices based on the size and all of that of the bar. Like I'm going to make different sizes. Like this one is a smaller. And then it has like a textured top. And so it's like one inch wide. It's a little bit shorter. So I'll be making tall bars and short bars. Here's another bar. This is purple and like a natural color. And this is another one inch bar with the crinkle cut. And here's another bar. It's like purple at the bottom and like a natural color at the top and the texture look at the top. Here's another with a swirl and the texture at the top going into a peak. And if it's a little bit thicker bar, I'm gonna be making like one inch bars as well as thicker bars, like one and a half, two inches. But sometimes people may want a bigger bar. This is turmeric soap. It smells good as well. I have to clean the soaps up because right now they're curing. So what I mean by clean up is I just kind of shave them to make them more neat before I ship them out. So this is turmeric, which is good for your skin. Also make, I make shampoo bars as well. This is one of my shampoo bars. I'm gonna have three different shampoo bars. I'm gonna have one shampoo bar, just a regular shampoo bar with some tea tree in it and some things in it that's good for your skin and your hair. And scalp is what I mean your hair and scalp. And I'm gonna have another shampoo bar that's good for if you have like scalp disorders, like dandruff or you have psoriasis in your scalp or dermatitis or anything like that. I'm gonna have another soap for that. Then I'm gonna have another soap that's for locks. And when I say soap, I'm talking about a shampoo bar. So I'm gonna have three different shampoo bars. Now my shampoo bars are not made of soap. They're not soap because one thing about me as I know as I'm a licensed hairstylist, you can't use soap on hair because the pH level in soap is too high. So my shampoo bars are pH balanced and so they won't damage your hair. If pH level is too high and you use it on your hair, whether it be shampoo or anything else that you use on your hair, if the pH level is too high, it will damage your hair. So my shampoo bars, the three different kind I'm gonna have, they are all pH balanced. I'm also gonna be making bars for dogs. 
for dog shampoo bars. I haven't made those yet, but I will. And so those are some of my bars. And uh, so yeah, that's some of my bars. And then I do have bars also. I have bars for bath. I have skincare bars for your skin, which are the turmeric. I also have activated charcoal bars that I have already made. I gotta make more so they can cure as well. They're gonna be for your skincare. I have ACV bars already that's already cured. That's gonna be for your skincare as well. So three different skincare bars. And I'm gonna also have skin bars for, for bath and shower for those who may have eczema. Um, I have already curing some of those bars. So I'm gonna be making a plethora of bars, just not for bath, but for skincare, or if you have different like skin disorders, like uh, skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, or something like that. My homemade bars will help you with those as well. And as I just mentioned, my shampoo bars, the pH level will be balanced, so they will not damage your hair. They are not soap. They are shampoo bars. And so that's what I've been up to. I, I already have been working on my website. I have not made it live yet because I'm waiting on the soap to cure. So my soap is curing again. Soap has to cure for about a month because if it doesn't cure, then the, the soap will dissolve quicker. Um, and when you, when you, when my um, website goes live, you know, um, you will be able to order the soap you know, online, I may deliver soap. It just depends if the person is in the Atlanta area. It just depends. I'm kind of thinking about doing that. Depends on the mile radius and stuff like that. So, but I, I'll let people know I'll have that on my website. But anyway, so just wanted to show you guys um, my soap. Then just want to chat for a minute, if that's okay with you guys. So let's chat just for a minute. So what do I want to chat about? So the other day, a while ago, mom was chatting with someone and she was telling me, you know, she just was going, just been going through a lot and she was sharing that with me and I was trying to encourage her, of course, and she was telling me how, you know, sometimes, you know, you can think you have people that care about you, people who are concerned about you, people who you can call friend and stuff like that and she was saying she realized that is not the case, that you know, some people are not your friend. Now, I'm not trying to put a damper on this video at all, but, you know, I encourage her. And I, sometimes I'm just amazed at the behavior that some adults have. In all honesty, the same behavior that we would tell our children not to operate in. Thank you. It's sometimes the same behavior that we have as adults. And it's very disheartening because people are going through a lot at the time. At this day and time, people are going through a lot. And we need to keep our spirits up and our energy up because we really don't know, like, from day to day, like, who we may, who path we may cross or who path God may put us on, whether we believe in God or not, doesn't matter because God, sometimes we'll come across somebody's path and they be, may be having the worst day ever. You don't know what they're considering. They may be having a really bad day. They may be depressed. Mm -hmm. And so there's your opportunity, whether you know them or not, whether you're a stranger or not, doesn't matter. You know, that's why we have to keep our energy up because we don't know what someone else is going through. And then you may cross their path and that's your opportunity to make them feel better with a kind gesture, a smile or whatever. Because I notice, in my opinion, you know, people seem a lot more inward now, you know. People used to be more outward where, you know, people were more willing to smile at a stranger, say hello to a stranger, welcome a stranger. More kind of welcoming, you know, and warm, you know, but now it's almost like you have to bust a door and a wall down, you know, to reach people now. Even people who should just innately be welcoming towards you, sometimes they are not. And then, and you know, if you're not in the right frame of mind or you're not in the right place in your life at that time, you can feel like it's rejection or you can feel like it has something to do with you or it can end up making you more depressed or whatever that you're going through. It can worsen it, you know, and make it worse. But you have to understand that if someone is deflecting or they're being some type of way towards you, that doesn't have anything to do with you. If it does have something to do with you and you've been rude or nasty to them and then they having some pushback, then that's another thing. 
But if it has nothing to do with you and you search your heart, soul, and mind, and you know you haven't done anything to cause that reaction or you haven't sown any seed to get that harvest, then you know that it's the other person. So, and that's the day and time that we in now. God, of course, doesn't want us to judge anybody. But at the same time, you don't want people deflecting on you and you don't want people who are not healed to be making you feel depressed or making you feel that same energy that they are feeling. Because then now we got two people, you and this other person who's deflecting on you and gaslighting on you. We got both of y'all having that same energy. Now who is gonna be the one of you out of the two of you that's gonna make somebody else smile? That's gonna do what I was just saying a minute ago, which is be warm and welcoming, you know, be encouraging. If both of you guys are down, you know, if we allow people to deflect onto us and then we take on their energy, then who's gonna be the one out here encouraging other people? It's not gonna be nobody out here doing it if we allow this same energy to come up on us. You know, we can't receive that. We gotta know how to shut it down. Now, if somebody's truly a friend or an associate or whatever the case may be, or someone who should just innately be warm and fuzzy and welcoming, but they're not, please don't walk it back. Don't receive that because God, he said the laborers are few. The laborers are few. So don't take that on. Don't feel no type of way. And at the end of the day, what you have to understand and realize that sometimes, you know, people are doing all this because God is putting that wall up. God has that hedge of protection around you where he will only allow certain people to be close to you. Like God is a jealous God, he's very protective and he's very overprotective, just like you may be about your child. Thank you. God is the same way about us. And so, you know, sometimes we be wondering, oh, why this one seem like she don't like me? Why he seem like he don't this? And this relates back, I'm on this story and this little subject and this little rabbit trail, but you know, talking to this person and finding out that she feel like, you know, people who she thought were her friend are really not. I had to encourage her by telling her, you know, people have seasons in our life and we have to accept that. Like I, I have one video and I'll drop it down below about don't chase people. You know, we got to stop chasing people that God is trying to move out of our life that God is trying to extract out of our lives. It don't mean there's something bad about that person. It just means their season is up because if a person is a friend or there's an associate or they're an acquaintance to you, and if they they not happy in your successes or they only happy when you're doing this, that, and the third for them, or they not happy to see you go higher, or they feeling some type of way because you over here, you know, the thing over the, at the end of the day, people don't know what kind of seed you're out here sowing. They don't know what seed you're sowing to get this harvest. And if you have a good harvest in your life at the moment, it's due to the seeds that you have sown. So, you know, it don't have nothing to do with you. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It is a biblical principle that God has when he created us all in the heavens and the earth and the fullness thereof. It's based on the seeds that we sow. So for someone to feel some type of way towards my friend because of the seeds that she's sown, and the harvest that she's reaping. That don't make no sense because as soon as they put seeds in the ground, God, they gonna reap their harvest too. If it's bad seed they sown, they gonna reap that harvest. If it's good seed, they gonna reap that. I don't get it. But you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's like people too old to be deflecting on other people. Just go out here and if you see, you know, that you are the type of person who, you know, you when you come around, it's always negative energy, you know, you don't feel good, you know, you don't feel like you wanna bring positive energy into the room when you come. If you're feeling that way, feel be honest with yourself. If you're feeling like, okay, if somebody being nice to me, I can't be back nice to them, or if somebody's smiling at them, at me, I don't wanna smile back at them. Or, you know, if your energy is off and it's not good and it's not the type of energy, that God will want us to, to display. Be real with yourself and say to yourself, okay, I need a check. I need a mic check or whatever you want to call it. And you know, walk it back, you know, get in your word, do what you got to do so that you can be used of God and you can be a positive influence and have positive energy out here 
and be sowing good seeds, you know, because it's really affecting other people. You know, I hear what other people go through and these are grown people, adult people, who are act out here having the behaviors that we wouldn't even want our children to have, that we wouldn't even, we would get on our children by having the same behavior that we sometimes operate in. Other people out here going through a lot and then people are deflecting on them, being mean to them, you know, uh, all of this little stuff that people do. And, you know, you'll be hard pressed out here now trying to find people walking around, you know, because I'm hearing, you know, to hear her on the phone crying because, you know, the behavior of grown-ups and the envy and the jealousy and the strife and the ever evil work, you know, it's ridiculous. It seems like it gets worse and worse every day. So you almost have to alienate yourself to keep peace and, you know, and it shouldn't be that way. That's not how God wants us to be. So I just wanted to finish off, you know, I showed you my soap and all that. I just wanted to finish off with whomever is going through that, you please be encouraged. Please be very particular and cognizant of who you are around, who you allow to speak into your life, who you allow to deflect on you. You know, don't allow it. You have to have self-love. And when you have self-love, it's nothing wrong with having self-love. So if this person acts like you be in some type of way because now you have a standard and you have a parameter and you have a guard up because, hey, you're not going to let anybody just run over you with the evilness and the meanness. And sometimes, you know, when people don't heal, when they don't allow God to heal them, they go around really bitter and really unhappy and don't want to see nobody else happy and don't want to be around you because you're just too happy. You know, she always laughing, she always smiling, she always in a good mood. I don't even want to be around her. Well, that's fine, because they don't want you around them either, you know. And so it should not be that way. So I just want to encourage you today that if you are going through any of that, please be encouraged. Just keep yourself encouraged and have some self-love by walking it back, you know. Put up that line of demarcation where you don't allow people to cross you know, draw a line in the sand, and that's where, you know, the disrespect end. And that's not being mean, that's having self-love. And so, I just want to end with that today. Thank you guys so much. You're going to be seeing some more of my soap. So, I got a whole new playlist now called Soap Making. And on there, whenever you go there, I got one video in there so far. And you'll just see me making my soaps. And soon as my website go live for my soaps, you'll be the first to know. If you are new here to my channel, I have over 500 videos on here. I'm almost at uh, my 1K subscribers. I think I need 30 more subscribers. Subscribing is totally free. And you should see that QR code up there that I've had throughout this whole video. All you have to do is click on the QR code and then you can subscribe or um, you can Click the link to my um, YouTube channel, which is www.youtube.com slash the at sign Sugar Salon TV. I'll put it down below. So subscribing, you guys, is free. It's absolutely free. So if you're watching this video, if you could go ahead and help me get to that 1K, God bless you. I'd appreciate it. I'll be grateful and thank you so much. If you give me a thumbs up, that'll help too. That'll bring the algorithms to my channel which will bring more people to my channel. So I hope you guys have a blessed day, a blessed weekend. You stay safe, you stay encouraged. And um, I'm about to be making more videos. I'm gonna be putting more soap videos on here. And we got the holidays coming up, Thanksgiving in like a couple of weeks. So God bless you guys. I'm gonna see you guys soon on my next video. Peace and blessings. Thanks for watching.